Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flare Mouse. Today we're going to make some shotgun slugs out of the metal bismuth. Bismuth is a pretty interesting metal. It's, a, it's considered a heavy metal, but it's a non-toxic metal, unlike lead. I made a very crude mold using just some pottery clay, and we'll let that dry and get all the moisture out of it before we cast it. Bismuth has a lower melting point than lead and also a lower density. It is a, a little bit higher density than steel, which is only about 7.6. Bismuth is used for shot for hunting ducks and stuff, but it is really expensive. A box of 25 shells is about $27 or to $32, and that's a lot more than even steel shot. And to my knowledge, no one makes a bismuth shotgun slug. And if they did, it would be very expensive. It would probably be about $5 a slug. Now, if that was a lead slug, it would have just fallen out of that mold. I wouldn't have had to break it open. But bismuth has this unique property where it actually expands when it becomes solid. Kind of like gallium. And speaking of lead, I did cast a solid lead slug in the same manner as I did with the bismuth slugs. And even though the sizes of the two slugs are similar, the bismuth does weigh less. Now these two bismuth slugs that I cast came out a lot nicer, but I didn't record that part, of course. Today we're going to be shooting off a new device. It's a very nice shooting stand by CTK Precision. It's called the P3 Ultimate Shooting Stand. And this should be a big improvement over the wooden block that we usually use. Now we got the optional gun vise. And this has very thick padded jaws, so you don't have to worry about marring up the finish of your uh, nice firearms. And this shooting stand, it kind of reminds me of a nice piece of gym equipment, actually. And it's got knobs and adjustments all over it. Um, it's just built really well. Now the padded rear rest can be slid forward, and you can actually shoot off this thing with a pistol if you want. CTK Precision was kind enough to send us this stand. I think they felt sorry for us because we were using a wooden block and we're more than happy to highlight their company and their product. So if you're in the market for a nice shooting stand, check out the description for a link to CTK Precision. All right, let's get down to shooting now and load up the first bismuth slug. Okay, uh, bismuth shot one at keyboard Carl. All right. Hit it. <laughs> <laughs> you should get a break action, that'd make it a lot easier for you. Nah. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh! Missed. Anytime. Oh! Okay, last bismuth. One. Last bismuth. Oh, pull that back. You get break action. Nah. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, go for it. Ooh. Finally! Nice. <laughs> Fine. And I think it fragmented. That's, that's a badass. <laughs> it almost went through that block of lead. Almost. That big old crack. It's like, yeah, that's, that's, it's like an inch thick. It's like pieces in it. You weren't even looking when you shot it. That's the funny thing. <laughs> <laughs> And now we'll take that solid 1.1 ounce lead slug that I also cast to the same dimensions as the bismuth slugs, and we'll shoot that at the lead plate, and we can get a comparison between the uh, damage. All right, good. Yep. <laughs> Style. Not bad for not even looking when you shoot. <laughs> you get some extra style points for that's, that. That's the trick, is not to look. Yeah. yeah. Use your, yeah, you gotta use the force, through. man. Yeah. Use the, use oh. the force. And now it's time for the low budget, high speed camera footage. Once again, we're using one of those big blast target inflators where it's a special cap that goes on top of a two liter bottle and you can fill that thing with about 100 PSI of air. And when those things pop, it lets off a lot of sound and a lot of energy. Now even though bismuth is a pretty brittle metal, it still went through the keyboard, went through Carl, went through the ballistic gel behind him, and through the backstand. Now this next shot was a miss. I think he just had it adjusted too high. But 
you can see how it still went through the ballistic gel. Gives you an idea of what these rounds would do going through uh, an animal that was made out of ballistic gel. Because ballistic gel really isn't a good representation of any animal or person. So it went through the gel, through a pomegranate, and then right through our backboard again. And now we'll shoot the one inch thick block of lead. And you can see how that bismuth round just broke up into a bunch of almost crystal-like fragments. And it certainly didn't have enough energy to blow all the way through that, that thick lead. And this is actually pretty telling because it kind of gives you an idea of the difference between what bismuth and what lead can do. And the other hole that was already in there was done by a steel slug. The solid lead slug had no problem blowing a hole through that thick lead. And if you were to scavenge up all the pieces of lead that it knocked out, it'd probably weigh about three ounces. Hopefully it will never be mandated to use non-lead slugs because you just can't beat lead. It just has all the right properties. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Yep. <laughs> oh.